In your Decision 2016 coverage tonight, President Obama's endorsement today of Hillary Clinton set off a war of words between Clinton and Donald Trump. KRDO News Channel 13's Bart Bedsall talked with local supporters on both sides tonight. And Bart, certainly it looks like it's setting the tone for the next five months before the election. James, it does, and this is largely because it's so easy to criticize and respond these days through new forms of communication, like Twitter. In fact, I don't think there's ever been someone so qualified to hold this office. It was that video endorsement of Hillary Clinton that set off the latest volley between the two candidates. Donald Trump first tweeted, Obama just endorsed crooked Hillary. He wants four more years of Obama, but nobody else does. Hillary Clinton responded by tweeting, delete your account, although it was not signed H, so she may not have personally typed it. Trump fired back, saying, how long did it take your staff of 823 people to think that up? And where are your 33,000 emails that you deleted? One El Paso County Democrat told us it's the same bickering, but this time with a new target. It's been very long back and forth between the two Democrats. And now, you know, you're looking at it's going to go. It's, you know, now it's just transferring over to this back and forth again. But Trump supporters say not responding may be why Republicans lost in 2012. In my opinion, if Romney would have responded on multiple attacks, he would have won. But that didn't happen because he stepped back and he tried to keep a civil tone. The question is the impact on voters, whether the back and forth will energize their respective campaigns or drive voters away. It's not a debate, it's an argument. And it's, you know, it's an argument between two people who behaving like they have the mentality of a teenager. And that's not something I'm looking for. But both sides agree the bickering is not likely to end before November. The safe space guys need to go find their safe space. You're going to see this from now until the election, in my opinion. Now, Clinton has said in the past that she would not stoop to Trump's level and resort to his tactics like these. Trump has never said he would hold back on anything or anybody. Bart Bitzel, KRDO News Channel 13. All right.